Ladies and gentlemen, if you would, would you please stand? individual 
but can become now, today, you become something far more and far greater than anybody could ever imagine. You become one. His good and his bad becomes yours. Your good, your bad becomes his. And together, you will make it because you have the greatest support we can that you could ever imagine. Your parents, some crazy siblings, but nevertheless, your friends and your best friends. And that will solidify your success in this marriage. You have your vows? Who said it? My good name. Mm. You still give me butterflies the same way when I met you in sixth grade. I told, my mama told me once that she is where she is at right now because of prayers from her grandmother and people that really cared about her. And I know Deborah T has prayed for me a lot because there is no one that's so imperfectly perfect for me. You always ask me why you love me, why you need me. <laughs> Truth is, it's your entire existence, your power, your grace, your smile. All the good in my life is because of you and you being my biggest cheerleader. I need you by my side. I am a better person because of you. I pray for you more than I pray for myself. Every night I pray, God, works miracles in your life so I can see you shine and see you get everything you deserve and I become your biggest cheerleader. I can't think of a time when you were never there, a time where you never had my back or were dishonest with me. For that, I will always return the favor. I've been becoming, I've been knowing you since I was 13. We used to call each other on the dial-up internet phone. <laughs> Our first date was to the movies in your mama's red Astro band to see you come through pan. <laughs> you have been my best friend forever. Even when I felt like I didn't have anyone to talk to, you were there to listen. Everyone came up to the road and keep asking, are you ready? And I'm like, yeah, that's my best friend. But I know they don't understand how far we go back and how deep our bond is. I know there was a God because when he made you, I know he was thinking about me. To give me someone who can offset my downfalls and become each other's better half. Also, just to enjoy life with. Someone that will schedule your mandatory naps, room travels. Also, make sure we be on time. <laughs> this day means so much more after going through 2020. A lot of tears shed, uh, a lot of uncertainty, but through it all, we had each other. You have seen me grow from a little boy with a lot of pain and anger to a more polished and understanding young man. I like to think I'm a business savvy individual, and this is the best investment I've ever made. I have no doubt we will be those couples in the world that can stand up and say we've been together for 50 years and two step together like they do on TikTok. <laughs> I want to leave you with a few promises. I promise to always listen to the wants and needs. I promise to protect you from danger or anyone. I promise to remain true and loyal. I promise to wipe your tears away when you are sad. I promise to be a shoulder to cry on. I promise to build you up when you may feel like you're not good enough. But most importantly, I promise to love you unconditionally. Life has never, life has never ending changes and I'm willing to spend the test of times with you. So I got to admit, girl, you're the it, girl. And I'm not even like a girl. Ooh, 
Fear of mine. From the moment we met in middle school, I knew you were someone I would have a hard time getting rid of. Your persistence was out of this world. From asking me to be your girlfriend, it turned, us, it turned into us just becoming really good friends who called and talked to each other often. To you asking me to be your girlfriend again, us just continuing to be close friends. Until the third time you asked me, and we were finally ready to explore a relationship outside of the friend zone. You've always had a way of seeing me in a higher light than I often see myself. You saw a future in us before I even knew who I was. That is how I know that our love is truly ordained by God. It had to be written exactly the way it was for it to be known at such a young age that this is where we would be. So I want to thank you. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for respecting me. Thank you for choosing me each and every day. And thank you for being my very best friend. You mean the world to me, and I know it's vice versa, because if it's one thing you don't play about, I know it's me. <laughs> We've grown so much through the years and changed even more. But I love that for us, because there's only one thing that I know is constant in this world, and that's change. And through the change, we've learned to adapt. We've always, we always figure it out and continue to love each other through the process. So I promise to always accept that change. I promise to always put you first. I promise to never finish a Netflix series or go to our favorite restaurants without you. I promise to be your helpmate and partner through the good, the bad, the highs, and the lows. I promise to always believe and put my trust in you and your vision for us and our future family. I promise to honor your wisdom. Through sickness and in health, for rich or poor, I promise to always be by your side. I stand here, we stand here together after 10 years of friendship and love to become one. And I couldn't be more proud of us than I am in this very moment. We've seen a lot and been through more things together than I've ever experienced with anyone else on this planet. There's not a life that I can imagine without you in it, and I'm so grateful for that. I can't wait to continue to break generational curses with you, watch you become an amazing father, and be able to experience you as an even better husband. So whether I'm calling you Armand, Rashi, Peanut, or my husband, <laughs> I promise to always love you until the end of time. I'm almost kissed now. You know what I'm <laughs> Listen, you know they, they deserve each other and belong together when you can write a three page letter about who's being famous. That's so 80s. And as long as we've been together, they actually were married in middle school. I'm just saying. Let's do this a different way, shall we? You guys have the words? Why don't you give it to the other side of me? Before you put it on, would you take her hand so I can bless it with both of y'all holding your rings together? This is what my wife and I did prior to getting married, that we would stay together. We've been together for 13 years, thick and thin. She's my ride or die. And I desire that for you guys. Everybody, would you pray for this? Well, today we bless this couple. That they shall have many, many good times. This ring symbolizes the love that they share, that they shall hold dear to their heart, and they shall always represent you in what marriage should be. In Jesus' name we bless it. Amen. Amen. If you at this time, would you exchange the ring, the real ring, or her ring on her hand? Today you guys are witnessing transition. As my sister said, they've been through all kinds of statuses. Friend zone, him being in three times, Kung Fu Panda. So now we're transitioning to husband and wife. Today we witness that. And we want these two individuals to have a wonderful, successful life. 
And in doing so, you're going to speak this up and get to all you want to get to. Would you now do us the honor of kissing your bride? If you would all please stand as we now congratulate this newlywed couple on our Maya, Lindsay. Ladies and gentlemen, we present you the Lindsay family. Okay. 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 Okay.